everybody. I'm just sitting here getting ready for our next adventure today. We'll be going on a little day trip, heading outside of Volkswagen about an hour and a half to Kazakh Castle. It's supposed to be a large estate with a beautiful garden, dungeons and caves that you can go into, tons of history. So we're really excited. It is possible to get there without a car. You just have to take a train for about an hour and then catch a local bus. We'll be sure to give you the steps to get there as you follow along with us. So I'm so excited to show you guys this. you want to immediately cross the street and look for the bus stop. You want to get on bus number 8 and make sure it's heading to Zemik Kezik. You're going to take this bus all the way to the last stop. Hey, we have made it to Kezik Castle. Got here a little bit later than expected, but it is so beautiful. This is a castle that dates back to the 13th century and it has been reconstructed and under many different rules, it is the largest castle in this region of Poland. So let's just go take a look around. <laughs> The castle was initially built between 1288 and 1292, belonging to the Hochberg family for centuries. Perched high atop a rock formation that is situated on a bend of the Ponishka River, the castle boasts amazing views around every corner. was confiscated by the Nazis. They built more than 3,200 square miles of concrete tunnels under the castle, big enough for trucks to move around freely. The ultimate purpose of these tunnels are still unknown and for many years were closed to the public. But since 2018, guests are now allowed to book a guide to explore a small section of the intricate tunnels. just finished the tour inside and it exits out to the beautiful gardens. The gardens used to be the castle defensive walls and the moat, but when the castle stopped being a, a defensive shelter around the 19th century, they filled in the moat and they turned them into gardens that surround the castle. So that's what we're going to explore next. After about 
about a 20 minute walk. We are here at the Palm House, which was erected in the early 20th century between the years 1911 and 1914. It includes a fruit and vegetable garden, a rose garden, a Japanese garden, and even a shrub cultivation center. But there's only about an hour before they close, but we're gonna try to stay until they kick us out. just got weirder and weirder as you went through it. There were lemurs and birds and turtles and strangely a Japanese samurai room? Who knows? But it had lots of interesting things. I'm glad I went and it was kind of like a maze so it always kept you guessing. We really stayed till the end and then someone was yelling at us in Polish on the way out. But we got a couple good shots all with no one around so to me it was worth it <laughs> now we just have to catch our bus back which from the palm house you can catch either the 12 or the 8 <laughs> back to the train station <laughs> so on we go hi ken hello we have had a successful day trip to Kozik Castle. We just got back into Hotsov and we're going to hit some dinner. I'm gonna leave you guys here and catch up with you maybe tomorrow where unfortunately Kent is leaving and it will be my last day here in Hotsov before I head out into Poznan. So we'll see you guys later, bye. Like a monster outside right now. 